What's up guys, in today's video we'll be talking about how to measure your heart rate or your pulse using your Android smartphone. Towards the end we are going to compare the measurements I got from my phone with an actual heart rate monitor to see if it is going to be the same or different. The pulse or the heart rate is the regular beating in the arteries caused by the contractions of the heart. The pulse is one of the body's vital signs that can be used to detect or monitor medical problems. Other vital signs are body temperature, blood pressure, and respiration rate. Now, to measure your pulse or heart rate, you need to install an app on your phone called accurate heart rate monitor after installing and starting up the app place your finger on your smartphone camera to cover the smartphone camera there is a heart symbol on the screen of that app once the smartphone camera is properly covered you see that the heart symbol will go black now once the heart symbol goes black you can now tap start to start measuring your pulse rate it's going to scan for some time and once the scanning is complete, it's going to display the value, that is the number that represents your current pulse rate on the screen. Once you've done that successfully the first time, you can repeat it as many times as you need to do to give you a convincing figure. Or at least for you to be convinced that that is the accurate heart rate at that moment. Apart from measuring your heart rate, the app has other features, such as calm. In a case where you were busy and you just need to calm down a little bit before you start actually measuring your, your heart rate. Tap on the menu on the top left corner of the screen, select calm. It's going to take you into the interface where the app helps you to calm down or to, uh, to carry out a form of meditation. Where it guides you through a, a sequence of breathe-ins and breathe-out. So once you breathe, it will, you just follow the instruction of the on the screen. It tells you when to breathe in and for how long and when to breathe out and for how long. Now that might take about three minutes to six minutes depending on how long you want to carry out the exercise. Now at the end of the day, it will tell you the rhythm or it's going to show you the rhythm in the form of a graph of your heart rate whether it increases or whether it reduces and from experience the the calm feature enables your heart rate to reduce after some time of carrying out the breathing exercise now having understood how to use the app we are going to demonstrate what happens if we compare the measurement gotten from your smartphone app with that of an actual heart rate monitor. Now we have the pulse and blood pressure monitor on my left hand and we have the app on my phone on my right hand. Now with my arm rested on the table, it gives me a, a, a result that is closer to what I had on the phone. So basically that is that. You can actually use your, your phone to measure your heart rate and it can give you a reliable result. But please do not consider this a medical grade diagnosis. You cannot use this for diagnosis purposes. If you want to actually know your actual heart rate, I advise you still go into the doctor's office or go to the emergency room or a hospital or a clinic that is close to you and have it professionally measured. But you can use this just to keep an eye on things, you know, pending when you go into an actual hospital. Now, if this video was useful to you, please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.